Log recording, 11.20 in the morning. It's still the 21st of July, 2023. We were John Sears in California. So yesterday, the uh, maintenance crew came by. They take a look at the refrigerator and the freezer unit. It's been about a month and a half, roughly, since I've had the refrigerator looked at because of, well, it's turning out to be a blizzard in the freezer section, and it was also not bringing in the cold air necessary. I had food spoilage. This time I still had food spoilage, but i got to get that taken care of eventually. But right now, uh, it's working okay. Maintenance came over, and they thawed out the freezer unit. Some guy actually had a portable blower, not a hair dryer, but a player a heat blower. So he was able to get the ice melted, chipped off a bit. Uh, the motor was still working, and it wasn't that much buildup like it originally was a month and a half ago. So this time I've got cold air working in the refrigerator. That's great. Good. I don't have that much food spoilage. But I still got food to cook. And other food to get. I turned on the news, and besides the Trump shit, I had to turn off sometimes. But the heat is still unbearable out there. Currently, because it is 11.21 in the morning, it's about 97 degrees out here in Roseman. It's going to be predicted to be about 108 around 3 o'clock. Should we talk about heat? There have been times living in the San Fernando Valley and traveling abroad during the summertime. We would deal with 100 and 101 or 102. It would be the hottest times I'd remember. 90s were uncomfortable as hell, but when you're talking about triples at that point, it was bad enough seeing my own mother get herself barricaded in a bedroom with an air conditioning running with our energy bill going skyrocketing. DWP wasn't kinder in those days. Neither was Edison. And I've noticed that throughout the time living out here in Antelope Valley, we're closer to the sun than we were in the valley. In the valley, we're a lot deeper in uh, sea level than we were in the Antelope Valley, which was higher, more closer to extreme heat. Cold couldn't lay down on the ground fast enough or stay there long enough, but when you get enough heat, oh yeah, you can get things cooked up real fast. But even in the San Fernando Valley, we still had that issue. In the ball, it still concentrates the heat into it, despite the fact you got canyons all around the damn place, you're still dealing with a bowl. And it was still sucking in the heat. And then the moisture would be in there. So it would be making... Ugh. If there was very little wind, it was hot, muggy, and you could barely breathe through the damn stuff. And this is after AQMD had taken care of the damn smog. I mean, they you know, pushed and prodded the state legislatures. Until we got some laws going on here to get our air quality balanced out a bit. We still get it from time to time. That's also depending upon the weather as well. We currently have this high pressure cooking several states at the same damn time. We're one of them. We also have other high pressures out there cooking the rest of the country. It was scary as hell to see Greece and Spain going up and no, was it Spain? Canary Islands. I didn't hear too much in the news about those. But when I started seeing something about Greece going up in smoke. Yeah. Even they are having the problems concerning about uh, global warming and the heat going further. It's one thing during the summertime, seeing the water temperatures heat up a little bit, but 90, 91? Crimity, I shower in that kind of situation, or a little bit less temperature than that. 
Imagine that. Let's see life is trying to deal with that shit. Trying to go to the polar areas just to cool off. I don't blame them. But out here in the in the heat, what? people try to get the to the beaches and cool off in the 70, 75 degree range. Once you start getting past 75, now you get into the heat storm there. It's scary living in a new time. I mean, it, it's getting, well, if I want to say it, it's getting more unbearable regarding the heat. Our politics, our economy, our ag. Uh, basically, humanity is killing itself. We're killing ourselves. We want more money. We're, we're fighting over resources at this point, or which are, which are diminishing at a point of almost non-existence. Fighting over precious water. We're grateful that when we actually had a major shower system coming through, we actually had water coming through. We had people making plants and still making plants and putting up the salinization on the coastline. The West Coast coastline there. Suck out as much water as we can. We're going to get more water because of the polar ice caps and we're losing our, our cool literally on that one. More and more, to uh, more and more areas are showing bare. Including Greenland. I kept thinking Greenland was just ice and snow. Well, now they're showing more and more rocky outcrop, and not to mention I'm worried about the Antarctic region melting off. Imagine having those icebergs floating through the water. Or even having some of the icebergs we ha uh, forming on the a, on a Arctic Circle flowing down. Shipping lanes would be screwed up left and right. With our navigational systems we have in our ships, and with the constant spotters, they try to avoid ice drift. I keep worrying more and more about the towns that are getting take are going to get affected more and more about this heating situation over here. Certain businesses depend upon heavy water usage, and that includes the travel and leisure. I keep thinking about some of the American rivers we've got going. Mississippi, Missouri, Snake, Columbian. Ma uh, four major contributors. We have barges going up and down. We have travel boats going up and down. Makes me wonder about those places. Not to mention in Europe. We've got several rivers out there in, in Europe that are going to be having issues. And you know what really freaks me out is having Canada going up in smoke. All the dense forest they had over there. But with the droughts continuing and sucking up all the moisture and then all they had left was dead trees and Plenty of plenty of material to you know, smoke up skies left and right. Yeah, we're definitely in trouble. They say, but this is just the summertime. Yeah, well, I remember the summer times we didn't exactly have this much fire activity, and now, in my lifetime, I'm seeing it. Worried? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I haven't been doing very much trying to decrease the problem either. We don't have enough recycling centers out here in the town of Roseman to take care of our stuff that we need to get recycled. Cans, bottles, plastics. We had recycling centers, but they shut down. And now there's one place that's going to be hot as hell trying to get over there, except early in the morning. They see if they're going to be accepting any cans. The problem is I hadn't done any cans in a while. I've been reusing my milk jugs for water jugs. I have a 
portable filtration unit. Pour the water into it just so I can get filtered water out of it and then use it that way. There's a lot of heavy contamination in the uh, main water system right now as it is. We take food that we have for granted and we bitch and gripe to the to the government about the food prices going up when it's market actually and it's also being driven by outside forces that we have I don't know do we have any control over try grain prices that we depend upon we depend upon grain for a lot of our products the stuff that we're consuming left and right are going up grains becoming more and more unavailable because of climate but also because of human conditions such as war. So that's a major nightmare right there. And that's fun to deal with. I try not to, what I do these videos, try not to talk about anyone in specific or personal until they got to burr up my butt and then I got to say something about it. But not trying to be a Karen at this point. There had been people in my life, directly and indirectly, that have made an influence one way or another. Well, sometimes I do talk about them. I talk about the pol politicians. Certain politicians out there who've got a, also a problem with reality that they can't deal with. the reality is they want things their way and they're not having it their way I refer you back over to the Karen video that just did behavior patterns I have to ask myself how can I avoid situations like this and can I avoid situations like this am I able to do it I try to stay out of people's way. I try to stay out of people's business. If they're going to be yelling and screaming at each other, I'm staying out of the damn thing. Unless, of course, I'm going to hear bloody murder going on, or if I'm going to be hearing weapons being used, then, yeah, a phone gets to be used. But in the meantime, I'm just dealing with what now is in 